Hello and welcome to this plotting series. We're going to start with the basics and build up to advanced plots throughout this series. If this is your first time using MATLAB, I recommend you check out my introduction to MATLAB as a general language because we're going to use a lot of the basic syntax from that video. If you're ready to rumble, we're going to jump right in today with very basic plots, the first plot you've ever made. The main command we're going to be using is plot. And I want you to go ahead and read this documentation. MATLAB provides extensive information about the basics of these plots, and plot is the function you're going to be using. Alternatively, you can also go ahead and do doc plot, and you'll receive the MATLAB documentation where they detail in length with examples about the plotting function. First things first, let's go ahead and just plot some basic information. Here I'm telling MATLAB to plot the values 100 going by fives to 120. If we do this, we get this very basic plot. You can see it took our input as the Y values going from 100 all the way to 120 and MATLAB's default is to plot a line. Check out the X axis though. This is important. It's actually plotting the index of those points of what we inputted. Let's take a look at this further and isolate what we had there as our main input. This X matrix. So X here is only five terms, which is why we see on the X axis going from one, two, three, four, five, it's simply plotting the index and then it's plotting the Y values that we provided here. Now you might be getting confused already with the name of the variable and what's actually being plotted. Note that MATLAB does not care what you name your variables. It only cares about the order of the variables you input to the plot function. Let's go back to help plot and you'll see that MATLAB will always plot the first thing on the x-axis and the second thing on the y-axis. However, if we just plot one thing, it automatically plots that on the y-axis. Hence, we have values on the y-axis. These lines can be a bit misleading though, because we're not actually plotting a line. We're plotting the index versus the value. And these are going to be individual data points. So it makes more sense to make data points. Let's go ahead and close out of that plot. Let's clear our command window and let's plot that same information. And instead, give it the argument of a dot. These are single apostrophes around a period. If we run this, it's a little bit hard to see, but we're plotting individual data points instead of a straight line. This is part of the control that we have from the plotting function. We can specify what type of data or line that we want using all of this information right here. So we chose to plot a point. You could also plot circles, stars, diamonds. All these options are available to you and you can also change the color right here. These are your options on the right for all the different lines that you would want to plot. Let's take an actual function now so we get an idea of what we're doing. So let's start off with CLC, clear vars, and close all. Close all will simply close all these figure windows that we have up. I'm going to run this to start. And now Let's define some x values going from 1 to 10. And let's define some y values equaling the square of x. If we go ahead and plot x and y, we'll get our figure here. MATLAB automatically creates these new figures and then adds a plot shown in the white here on top of that figure. And if we want to plot these, let's say, as blue stars, we would add the argument b star. These arguments here always have to be within single quotations because MATLAB takes it as a text string or text characters. If we plot this, 
we'll see now that we have our individual points plotted as blue stars. If you want black diamonds, you can do K and then D. K for black, D for diamond. And again, always go back and reference the items that MATLAB specifies here. That's it for the basic first plot video. In the next video, we're going to look at adding titles and labels to our graphs.